guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Andrew and today I'm gonna to be talking about the best tip for learning motion graphics. And that is to learn how to use easing to change the animation of your keyframes. Now that might have sounded a little complex if you're new to After Effects and motion design, but I promise you that is a simple concept that it will drastically change your animations for the better. Now with that out of the way, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay, so now that we are in After Effects, uh, I just have a little project already set up here to kind of create a faster tutorial so you don't have to see uh, every single thing, but you'll get the concepts here. So in this little comp window, I have an animation with text and some shape layers, lines, and um, just a little bit to show you uh, what easing can do to your animations. So let's go ahead and play that. Okay, so that was a simple little animation. Um, and as you can see, uh, there's different parts moving. There's text, uh, there's shape and layer, uh, line layer elements, and all those are using ease in or ease out in some form or fashion on their keyframes that are animated. So let me just go into a simple example of keyframe um, easing and easing out. So we'll go to this easing example, and I just have three shape layers. I have the square in the center, the circle on the top, and a triangle. So each of them have um, a little bit different um, animation applied to the keyframes. If you look down here, you can see that um, the uh, keyframe markers look a little different. The square has just diamond markers, which are the default keyframe markers. There mean, that means there's no interpolation happening to those keyframes. They're just exactly what they are. Um, and then the circle and the triangle have uh, easy ease key, keyframe on right now, but they both have different graphs. And I'm going to show you what the graphs look like and what, what, what to do with those here in just a second. Um, and so it's simply, it's just the position uh, is being animated of the shapes, and then it goes over two seconds, and it ends on this position. So it's just a quick position change, but I'm going to go ahead and play this through for you. And what you'll notice is that the square just kind of does a linear move. There's no speed change. It just goes from point A to point B at the exact same rate. Um, you'll notice the circle kind of gradually starts and then slows down, um, but the, it uh, isn't too abrupt. And then the triangle starts real slow, explodes through the center uh, of the frame, and then slows down um, just as slow as it started here at the end. So I'll, I'll stop that. And I'm going to quickly just toggle this little icon right here, toggles the graph editor. And I want to show you these graph uh, graphs real quick before I go into um, showing you how to edit these. I want you to look at these real fast. Um, so when you click this, if nothing's selected, it's just empty. And just so you know what you're looking at here, this right here is showing you obviously the time, uh, the frames of the motion, and this is showing speed or different variables. Right now there's no variable selected, so it's not gonna show you. But if I select the square position here, you'll see it does pixels per second. And so because the keyframe has no interpolation, it is a constant speed. So it starts at 808.41 pixels per seconds, and it goes that same speed all the way to the next keyframe. There's no change in speed. Um, so it's just gonna start abruptly and end abruptly. Um, and that's that's the default model. And right now, if you don't know how to ease in and ease out of keyframes, your animations are gonna be just stopping on a dime. They're gonna start on you know quickly, and they're not gonna have the nice smooth motion that you want when you're animating. If I go to the circle position, this is the standard easy ease. So if I were to, um, let's just select these two keyframes and I will hit control to create just default keyframes. Um, you'll notice they are just standard, just like the square. But if I were to select these two and hold down um, function button and F9, it does an easy ease keyframe. You can also right click and go down to keyframe assistant and go to easy ease. And um, that creates the graph that we showed earlier, which basically is showing that as it's moving, it starts at zero speed. So it starts at stopped. Instead of like the square that started at 800 uh, you know, pixels per second, 
this this uh, circle is starting at zero pixels per second and it's gradually going up to its peak, which is actually higher than the square because it needs to go faster to get to the same position in the same amount of time. So it goes up to a little over 1200 pixels per second before descending gradually back down to zero. And then if I select the triangle, you're gonna see a different uh, shape, which I adjusted by selecting the keyframes, and you can just drag these arms in and out. And what this is doing is, is a full extreme of Easy Ease, where it's basically zero, and it takes almost half the time to get up to um, the speed of the circle, and then it skyrockets up. I mean, it's going 13,000 compared to 1,200 uh, pixels per second, and then it drops really fast and slows down really slow. So there, there is a lot of variation you can do with these keyframes, um, and that's kind of what that looks like. So before we walk through, let me just jump over one more time to help uh, show you what it what is going on within um, these parameters. So in this uh, little example, I have the same uh, three shapes here that are at the beginning, and then they animate. And I, I drug this out because uh, two seconds, the triangle was moving too fast to really see on the graph. So I drag it out to 10 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and RAM preview this and show you what it does. Okay, so this is slowed down, obviously, compared to the, um, the two second model that we had earlier, but you can still see the same animation. The square is going at a constant rate. The circle starts at zero, gradually goes up to a higher speed, and then slows down. The triangle is zero and really low all the way to the middle, explodes through speed and then slows down uh, over a long period of time again. So over here, you're seeing the graph depiction of what that looks like um, with the graph editor uh, put into place. So right here's position. Um, I didn't gather those numbers specifically, but those are the pixels position. And then this is arbitrary scale. It's uh, like we saw earlier, it's faster than that in the actual uh, pixels per second graph editor. But for a reference, we just did a scale of 100. So let's say zero pixels is right here, um, all the shapes. Uh, while well, the two shapes, circle and triangle, start at zero, and they accelerate, and they end up going over the speed of the square. The square, let's say, is set to 15 pixels per second, and it travels along this line exactly at the same speed. It never goes down to zero speed. It never goes any higher. It stays the same, but there's no smooth ending. It just stops at the end versus the circle that goes up, it's going faster than 15 uh, pixels per second, and then it goes slower until it stops and the triangle. So that's just a little visual representation of how uh, keyframe interpolation or easy ease type of animation works and the different ways the graph looks. So now let's go ahead and do this from scratch. So I'll stop that, go over to my example, and you'll see there's no keyframes here but I'm gonna show you step by step. It's real easy. All this seems a little complex, but when you get it, it absolutely changes every animation you do. Um, so we're gonna start with a square and we're just gonna do the standard um, you know, position right here. And then I'm gonna just go over to the end of the two second uh, thing and drag and I'm gonna hold shift so it stays uh, parallel with that uh, line um, and then just drag it over here and that's the end position so it animates and again this is the default way of animating so it actually just stops at the end um, and we do not do anything with that so then let's go to circle and remember I kind of did this earlier what we're wanting to do is something similar let's uh, toggle this stopwatch which makes a keyframe right here and come to the end and we're just going to do the same thing drag and hold shift Put it right above the square here and stop. But then we're going to select those two uh, keyframes and hit the F9 to ease in or ease out, make it easy ease. Um, and when we come to the graph editor over here, you're going to see that again, that's the graph. And so when we animate, you're gonna see the circle go up and then down. It starts at zero, goes fast and then slows down. And then toggling uh, back to the regular editor, we're gonna come down to the position of the triangle, uh, select that to create a keyframe, go to the end, do the exact same thing we did with the square and the circle. But this time when we edit, we can go ahead and start by uh, creating the easy ease uh, function. But when we go into the graph editor, right now you'll notice it does the same thing as the circle. It's the same exact motion as the circle. 
But if we go in the graph editor, what I'm going to do is just drag this down and you can actually adjust this. And when you're dragging, it shows you what speed it starts on. So if I pull it up, you can see it starts on 15 uh, or uh, 159 pixels per second. Now, if I want to keep it at zero, then I make sure to keep that at zero. As I pull out, it's showing you the influence um, from, z uh, from zero, which is right here, um, to up to 100 influence. And what I had set for the triangle earlier was 100 influence, which just means it's basically taking this keyframe and influencing this keyframe 100%. So basically as far as it can go. Um, and that will give you the animation that we had earlier where it was going slow, 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 explodes through the middle and then slows down again to zero. So guys, that's pretty much it for um, easy ease and how to interpolate those keyframes. Um, if you have any questions, drop those in the comments below. Uh, I know that I tried to go through this pretty quickly to um, show you uh, how to do it and what it all works and, and how it really functions so you can understand it because uh, it does take a little bit to get used to, um, but I think once you start doing it, you're going to see some great results. So, so that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, click on the playlist right over here to watch other tutorials on After Effects. And also don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified every time I drop a new video. Thanks again, you guys, and I will see you in the next video.